Hello everyone, I'm Josh Weisenhunt and this is not Goal of the Week. It's been a few rounds of MLS play, so let's get right into it. We start off with number five. We go to BBVA Compass Stadium for the All-Texas Showdown between Houston and Dallas. We start off with Will Bruin. He marked the first goal for the Dynamo in the third minute of play, and he had a chance at the end of the first half, but he couldn't slot this one past Kevin Hartman. Tries to go near post, but he hits it instead. Number four, we're at Gillette Stadium for week 13, Revs and Fire. Revs forward, Sayerson dances through four Chicago defenders, but he can't finish past Sean Johnson. He did all the hard work, but the easiest part at the end was the finish, and he couldn't get it done to complete that wonder goal. In at number three, we're back at BBVA Compass Stadium, Houston and Dallas. Houston left back, Corey Ash down the left flank, serves this cross to a wide open Brian Ching, but it's straight off Ching's head and over the goal. We've seen the great Dynamo striker finish those time and time again, so it's no surprise that he lands in this week's countdown. At number two, the reopening of the new Stad Saputo in Montreal last weekend. The impacts Colin Warner with a chance to bring the new house down, but he gets a little too excited, and it looks like he might have put that one outside the stadium. If he could, I'm sure he would do it all over again. And finally, your number one not goal of the week, Joe Cannon gets his clearance horribly wrong, and Brian Ching collects at the edge of the area, and he can't quite chip it into the open goal. Mr. Ching, we hate to pick on you, but that's your second appearance in this week's not goal of the week that's all we got from the last few rounds of mls action be sure to tune in to not goal of the week once again next week on mlssoccer.com